Hey guys, Soccer from Socky Ticket. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to activate a powerful built in security feature on your Samsung Galaxy smartphone that could potentially save you a lot of headache. So let's dive in and get started right away. So if you go into your settings and if you uh, scroll over to biometrics and security, there's a feature here that usually you have to go out there and pay for, but Samsung gives it to you in a limited fashion for free. And that's known as the secure Wi-Fi feature. So I'm going to click on this right here. Okay. I'm going to show you guys how to set it up and how to use it properly. But before we do that, you want to make sure you click the link down below, go to my website and update to the latest secure Wi-Fi feature. So you're going to scroll down just a little bit under download. You want to click on the link that's going to take you to the store. Once you're at the store, you want to click on update. That's going to give you the latest version with maximum security. It was in fact updated very recently in November. Okay. So now let's see what it exactly does. Now it is actually almost like a mini VPN service that usually you have to go and pay for. So when you first see the screen, you want to tap on continue and I recommend that you allow only this time or only when the app is being used. So just choose the middle option here. Okay. And then once you're there right now, it says stop at the bottom. It says Saiyan, which is the network name of my Wi-Fi. And if you see this blue thing, you can access it for now. And here's exactly how it works. You do not need to activate this. You do not need to press the protect button when you're in the house or in the house of a family member or in the house of a friend. However, when you go out to a coffee shop, when you travel, when you connect to any unsecure Wi-Fi source, which is basically every place other than trusted places like your home, family's house, you want to make sure you enable this. Okay. Now what Samsung is doing is they're giving you 250 megabytes or free protection plan per month. So it is a little bit limited, but you can use it intelligently. I'm going to show you how. So let's say Saiyan was a Wi-Fi at a coffee shop. Okay. I would go there and what I would do is I would click on protect. So that's going to activate the security feature. Now the Wi-Fi is so secure that nobody can hack your phone. Normally there's ways to actually extract information from your smartphone. If you are connected to a public Wi-Fi, you can be hacked, but right now you would be protected. And here's what you would do. You would tap on this protected applications. And right now all the applications that connect to a network network are in fact protected. Let's choose a very simple example. Let's say I have chase over here. So this is a banking application. I want to make sure this is always enabled. Okay. So what I would do is when I'm at a coffee shop and I want to do some banking on my phone, I would first go here, enable the secure Wi-Fi, and then I would go outside and I would actually connect to that banking application to do whatever, pay bills or check the status of something, or maybe check my account balance or whatever. When I'm done, I would come back here. And I would actually turn off the uh, protection. Okay. I can just, then I can click on stop here. So that way I'm not wasting all of the megabytes. As you can see, it already killed one megabytes just by me using the chase application. So you want to be very careful. And as I suggested, use this specifically for banking applications or any other sensitive application in which you have sensitive information. Now, if you're checking your gallery, if you're uploading something to YouTube, that's not a big deal. But if you are checking your balances in a banking account, that's important because if somebody extracts that information, they can hack your bank accounts. All right. So just something to keep in mind. It's good that this is free. Now, if you want, they also offer a service where you can get unlimited plans. So look over here. If I click over here, it's going to show me what I have right now. This is a free plan. Every Samsung user gets. If you want to upgrade, if 250 is not enough, you tap on this one and you can go with this one. That's $2 a month. Uh, that's a dollar for 24 hours. Now, again, I don't recommend any of these guys. 
if you use this intelligently and the way I just showed you guys, you will be good to go. Just go on, go on over here, go to protected applications. You can turn it off for stuff like this. That's a game, that's a benchmark tool, that's a weather application. You do not need security for that. You could need security for Amazon shopping because you are doing shopping. It's got your username, password. Okay, you don't need it for this. So you can turn it off for all the games and maybe keep it available for shopping applications and especially banking applications. Okay, and you can always go back here and click the protection history and it's gonna show you what it has done for you. Now look at this, it did some protection on this application, on the Facebook application, on Twitter. This was all unnecessary and it also, also wasted some of my data. But this one here, Chase, was in fact necessary. So I could use it for this, but I wanna disable all these under this protected apps option. Now remember, only use this when you're outside connected to a public Wi-Fi in a place you simply do not trust. Could be an airport, could be a coffee shop. And again, for the most part, you're secure, but this just seals the deal and nothing can actually be hacked this way. So make sure you go to the website, you update to the latest version, okay, so you are fully protected and start using your free allocation of 250 megabytes per month. Remember, when you're not using it, make sure you click on stop. Right now, it is stopped. I can start it. Once I do start it, I do my thing, come back and stop it, or it's just gonna waste the whole thing immediately. And I will let you know, in some of the phones, Samsung phones, if you go to the settings, it may not be under biometrics and security, it might still be in uh, Wi-Fi settings. So if I go to my uh, connections, and if I go to my Wi-Fi, if you tap here and click on advanced, it might be sitting in here somewhere, okay? They have been moving things around, but it's either gonna be here under Wi-Fi advanced, or it's gonna be under biometrics and security. All right, that brings us to the end of this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day, all right?